So we're going to send it to News Channel 9's Josh Martin. He's live at the Onondaga County's Emergency Management Center as we braced for the storm. Josh. We have seen plenty of county plows come here to Jamesville and stock up on salt as we prepare for the storm. We spoke with Ryan McMahon, the Onondaga County Executive, earlier today, and he anticipates at least some form of travel advisory to be issued once the storm hits this weekend, but nothing has been official yet. We're not going to issue a travel advisory yet, but if the two to three inches an hour actually plays out, we'll probably issue a travel advisory tomorrow. Um, we have 60 plows ready to go. Uh, you know, we do a pretty good job keeping up with, uh, you know, one to two inches an hour. Once it gets heavier than that, you're really in a situation where it will be tough to keep the roads, uh, you know, clear to snow. The county has 70 plows ready to start snow removal this weekend. I asked County Executive McMahon if there's a chance they could use a little more salt or a little more brine, considering we haven't had as much snow this winter. He says he doesn't count the cost when it comes to snow removal, regardless of how much snow we're expecting. And he sharing the same message many of our local leaders have. If you don't have to leave your house this weekend for any unnecessary travel, don't stay at home and stay safe. Rod and Christy. Thank you, Josh. The city of Syracuse is also taking the necessary precautions, issuing a snow safety alert as we head into the weekend. Syracuse Mayor Ben Walsh held a news conference this afternoon to lay out the city's plans for when the storm hits. Alternate side parking will be in effect and police will ticket and tow violators. Neighbors are asked to clear sidewalks where they live and also clear around the fire hydrants. The mayor also has these words of caution for city neighbors. My advice to residents would be if you don't have to go out, um, then don't. Uh, stay in. It's uh, not only uh, may travel be difficult, uh, but it's going to be extremely cold. And uh, God forbid anyone uh, gets stuck out in this weather, uh, it could be very problematic. It's going to be very tough for us. Uh, that's why we got to have all hands on deck, all plows that can be, plow can, can be up, will be up, and out in the road. We're going to have a 24 hour, hour operation for the next three days. Uh, starting Saturday, 7 a.m., uh, uh, we won't stop until Monday around 3. And in the city, you can track snow plow progress and report issues on the Syracuse Snow Safety webpage. We'll link you there from localsyr.com.